hands-on with StarTech's USB 3.1 Gen 2 SATA adapter. So this super handy adapter from StarTech includes a SATA connection on one end and a USB Type-C connection with USB 3.1 Gen 2 capable of up to 10 gigabits per second on the other end. Now that sounds nice, but you have to keep in mind that SATA 3 connections max out at 6 gigabits per second, and really they only have a maximum transfer rate of about 600 megabytes per second or about 4.8 gigabits per second. So really when you think about it, USB 3.1 Gen 1 or USB 3.0 is really enough in order to saturate this interface. So if you purchase the cheaper USB 3.0 version, which is capable of up to five gigabits per second, you shouldn't see much of a difference if at all. I wish I would have bought the cheaper version just to test it out, but I didn't. But anyway, both of these adapters include USB 3.1 Gen 2 connections. The only difference between the two is that one features a USB Type-C connection and the other features a traditional USB Type-A connection. However, like I mentioned, both are still technically USB 3.1 Gen 2, even though it doesn't really matter because SATA, like we mentioned, maxes out at about 600 megabytes per second. So you're really not gonna even come close to saturating 10 gigabits per second. But other than those connections, everything else is the same. The nice thing about these cables is that it allows you to quickly connect a SATA drive to your MacBook or to any other computer for that matter. But since I have the 2016 MacBook Pro handy, I wanted to go ahead and utilize the USB Type-C connection. So all you need to do is plug that into my MacBook Pro and you're gonna see a little light come on on the opposite end of the adapter to signify that a connection was made successfully. So now just open up the MacBook Pro and then we're gonna open up system information and head over to the USB section. Once there, find the USB 3.1 bus and then locate the StarTech adapter, which is right here. You can see that it is reporting a USB 3.1 Gen 2 connection, 10 gigabits per second. And you can see the capacity of my drives that I have connected there. So works just as we would expect. You can just plug and play and access all of your content from that drive. So now we'll just pop in a finder and find our drive. There we go, Hackintosh SSD. So literally I just took this drive out of my Hackintosh and plugged it in and connected it to my MacBook Pro, that simple. So I can access all the contents of this drive that easy. You can see there's the desktop. I can load this movie file up like that and start playing it back. Pretty slick. And I find that file transfers in general are really good. Uh, we're going to run some Blackmagic disk speed tests here in a second, but uh, what I'm mainly going to be using this drive for is to connect to my Atomos Ninja, which is an external 4K recorder. And I'm going to record 4K video to this drive, and then I'm going to be able to connect it directly to my MacBook with the StarTech adapter and quickly transfer those files over. And you know how large 4K video can be. So I'm running the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test tool here, and you can see that the write speeds are around 450 megabytes a second. Read speeds are about 512 megabytes a second, and that's really good because these drives are actually rated at 550 megabytes a second read and 500 megabytes a second write, and a lot of your performance is gonna depend on your drive's rating. So as you can see, the performance is pretty good. It matches the performance that I would expect from a direct SATA connection inside my Hackintosh tower build. Not bad for an adapter. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the StarTech USB 3.1 Gen 2 adapter cable for SATA drives with USB-C in tow, a must have accessory for anyone who needs to quickly access the contents of a SATA drive from their MacBook Pro using a simple and easy to use adapter. Highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.